excited that for this uh, short episode here, for this bonus episode, we have my colleague and friend, Phil Kukura. So Phil has developed this exciting technique called mass photometry, and he's going to tell us a little bit about it now. Well, uh, it's a really simple idea. Basically, um, it's, a, it's a new technology that allows you to see proteins. I mean, you, you all know about proteins because you're listening to Simon's podcast. But what we can't normally do is actually look at what they do. So we try and come up with how stuff works with various techniques, but we can never really, really see it. And this technology it allows you to actually watch them do what they do. So we can actually watch in real time the movement of these proteins. That's right. You can watch how they move around. Uh, but more importantly, you can see how they interact. So do they come together? Do they come up, come apart? And the way we do that is just by measuring their mass. You know, two bananas weigh twice as much as one. Two proteins weigh twice as much as one. That's fascinating. And I know from interacting with you over the years that this has been a, a long journey, 15 years or, or more. And um, I'm hoping we're going to be able to persuade you to come on our pod a full episode of the podcast to tell Absolutely. us all about this. Yeah, excited. And for th what I'm really want to know now is, you know, I see your people and I interact with them and what your hopes and aspirations are for your for your research team moving forward. Yeah, I mean, lots of things. But one thing that's really uh, front and center is that, you know, traditionally, we're kind of physicists that play with lasers and lenses. And uh, as a result, we kind of mostly attract men. Right. And we need women. Yes, for sure. and I promise that it's you know it's 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 an exciting thing to work in because you get exposed to lots of parts of science, not just twiddling with lasers, uh, and we really just need some more diversity. Wonderful. So, so it's a really area of passion for you that we try to encourage more women to enter this field. I mean, it's it's true for my group, but I think it's true for you know physics and physical chemistry in general. It's, you know, traditionally this is you know boys are encouraged to do physics and at a levels and then you know this kind of educational bias goes all the way uh there's really no reason for it it doesn't make any sense and we would be much much better off if, if things were a little bit more balanced absolutely i think it's a really important point i mean obviously being being a woman myself in science i see that um as you say the more physical and physics the end of things um suffers from that a bit more than perhaps the bio and bio subjects do and there's something there that i think we can all work on and i'm really excited that you want to and maybe it's something we can do together absolutely it'll be exciting cool okay folks so you heard it here first right so watch this space and for all the women and girls who are listening sort of doing gcses a levels please do consider physics and you know listen into the next episode we do with phil when he talks about his exciting techniques it's not the sort of thing that you learn about at school because it's really cutting edge and it's being developed in real time right now but uh, we'll be able to tell you a bit more about the exciting things we can do with these new methods okay folks that's uh, that's all from me bye